Patrol 15, 10, 11, 30, 37, Panorama Drive on a off road side by side. Louisiana 28, uh, Sam T. Tom, Iida, and Nora K. King, L. Lincoln, E. Edward, Occupy Times 1, no additional unit. Patrol 15, 10, 11, 30, 37, How you doing? What's going on, sir? Not too much. I'm Lieutenant Victor with the St. Tammany County Parish Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is your failure to maintain lanes back there at the intersection. Yeah, what does that mean? So, you was driving, going northbound, okay, and then mm -hmm. you proceeded, you were on Panorama. As you were coming up to the Joshua intersection, you proceeded to spin around and made a U-turn, which is illegal at that intersection because you weren't even at the intersection yet. You were just in the active lane of traffic. And then you proceeded to have your tires spinning as you were doing a full 360. Uh, that was an accident. I apologize. Okay. I need to see your driver's license or a search and proof of insurance. Sure. I just got out of jail. Are there any drugs or alcohol weapons in the vehicle or on your person? Uh, nope. Right. You're aware that your uh, other vehicle, you, you have a Jeep. Yeah, it's in the freaking impound lot because my freaking friend that I loaned it to to help out with something fucking got arrested. He sure did. Yeah, so I can't get that shit out until he goes to the court. Nope, and he's not getting out until he goes to court either. Yeah, yeah I know, no. he's still in there. You he see him while you were in there? Day. No, I didn't see him when I was in there, no. but I saw... Um, well, when I got out, he called me, and he said that my car got impounded, my Jeep. Uh-huh. Yeah, did he tell you why he got arrested? Uh, he said he was, he had a too much to drink. 3015, I'm, I'm sufficient on units. I didn't request any. Yeah, he, uh, was driving under the influence. Yeah, so now, uh, this, uh, my Jeep's in there, that's my only clo- that's only, my only, like, four-wheel vehicle that I have, so this is the best thing I have. Yeah, and don't mind the three other units here, I'm not sure why they're here. Just, okay. Just talk to me, okay? Okay. Alright. Oh, yeah, you're good. Deputy. Yes. Uh, this FTO is going to keep this uh, trainee here for the experience. I'm going to head back tonight. So. You will have a, uh, another unit here. Okay. Alright. Mm, that's not how that works. You're not going to tell me who's going to stay on my trap to stop, but okay. That's not how that works. Why is this not coming back? Alrighty, Hayden, you're gonna be free to go. Here's your information back. Just, I don't know if you need to turn down the engine modifications on this or take any turbo you have, but you need to stay in your lane, okay? I apologize. 
Right. And what's I highly recommend not lending your car to that guy again, or really anybody, because especially since you got locked up, you don't know what they're doing with your car, and now they got locked up, and now you can't get your Jeep back. Oh, hell no. He so, ain't taking that shit ever. I wouldn't give it to anybody else, but that's just me. I gotcha. Well, no, you. Me back no, sir, I appreciate your professionalism. Alright, you are good to go. Drive safely. Thank you, David. Mm-hmm. I don't really have a choice. Drove 15, 10, 11, 30, 12, Marina Drive on a blue two door side by side. Louisiana 28, SAM, Teton, Mayad, and Orica, King, Lincoln, E. Edward. Occupy times one, no additional unit needed. I've got one on some. How you done, sir? What? Lieutenant Victor with the St. Tammany Parish County Sheriff's Office are in for the stop is because out of the last four to five intersections you've went through, three of them you've not yielded to traffic that may or may not be coming, it doesn't matter if traffic's coming or not, and sections that are not posted as either a yield sign and or stop sign are to be treated as a yield sign and you're just continuously going right through them, not even attempting to stop or slow down, you're just going right through them. And when we were over there on um, Marina, when you were turning off of Alhambra, there was a vehicle that was in front of me, that Emperor that was turning left. They were slowing down two turn and they had the right of way and that intersection is not marked and you proceeded to just cut them off not giving them the right of way. Okay. And you see your driver's license, driver's license, proof of insurance, please. Are there any drug alcohol weapons in the vehicle or on your person? I have a pocket knife in my right pant pocket, whatever it's called, but that's about it. Alright, Hayden, so tight for me. to show me 1041, 10 8.
Alrighty Hayden, it's going to be a written warning today for the failure to yield to those intersections um, as well as failure to give the right of way to that motorist that was attempting to turn left onto Alhambra. So how much is the ticket? It's not a citation, it's a written warning. Just a warning. So do I have to do like traffic school or something? No, it's just a written warning. It's just like you get a warning any other time. Like if you were in school and a teacher told you, hey, stop breaking pencils. They didn't send you to the office, they just told you to quit doing it. Stop eating crayons. Stuff like that. So this is just, it's what's called a documented warning, so it's on your record, but there is no <laughs> fine, there is no court appearance, there is no traffic, anything to it. It's no just on there, so then, like it's just on your record, in case somebody else pulls you over for the same thing, then they can see that you've already been issued a warning for it, and then they'll probably give you a ticket at that point. But it's just a written warning, you don't have to sign it. So you're it. giving me a ticket? No. No, it's, You're getting it's a written warning. warning. It's a documented warning, so if I pull you over again for the exact same thing, I will cite you because I've already given you a written warning for it. You went through... You've already given me a written warning? That's what I've already issued onto your record right now. You've went through three or four so, intersections without... So if you yielding. already gave me a written warning, am I getting a citation now? Because you just said if I you already gave me a written warning. It's already on your record, so yes, I've already given it to you. You're going to give me a citation? Why would I come up here with your warning and then walk back to your car? And well, you just said you gave me a warning already. I did. So, because I already. But then typed you just it said if someone, you said you just said if I've already, if uh, I next time I'm going to give you a citation because I've already issued a written warning. Yes. Next time I stop you for the exact same thing is what I said. Uh, this is the first time I've stopped you for this. So if I have to stop you again after you leave this traffic stop for the exact same thing, you will be getting a citation. If you're not getting a citation right now. You do not have to go to court. You don't have to sign it. You don't have to pay anything. You don't have to go anywhere with it. For all I care, you could crumble it up and throw it on your floorboard. It's already on your record, so there's nothing you have to do with it. But in case you have any questions or information that you need answered or assistance with, there's your copy of the written warning as well as your information back inside of this envelope. Behind all of your information and your copy of the warning is a copy of a letter that has the contact information for the sheriff's office, my contact information, and the courthouse if you wish to get this record expunged. The only way that you have what to the go to court is expunged. For this, if you go to the courthouse and you get this expunged off your record, that means that it has been removed off your record. You have to fill out an appeal process and they will review it and if they find that it was not needed or since it's the first offense, then they can expunge it off your record, meaning it'll be permanently removed. That so how do I? You wouldn't get stopped again for it, but that just means that what I just gave you would be removed. But it's only a warning. So. So so how do I go about getting my car back, my Jeep? Well, your Jeep was used in the commission of a crime, so you're gonna have to wait until your friend goes to court, and then when he goes to court, then the judge will. I already. I made. Since I'm the one that arrested him for it, I made sure to put in there that it's not his vehicle and I listed your name as the registered owner. So the judge will see the arrest report when he appears in court and the judge will determine if the vehicle needs to stay in the impound or if you'll if it'll be released to you. If it's released to you, then the bailiff will type up the information for it and I or another deputy at the sheriff's office will hand deliver you a letter from the court signed by the judge saying that the vehicle's been released from the impound it can be released to you, at which point you can go pick up the vehicle. If you are served by anybody with paperwork that says that you can go get the vehicle out of the impound and it's not a St. Tammany Parish County Sheriff's Deputy, then don't pay attention to it. Anything that comes from the courthouse will be served to you by a Sheriff's Deputy. And I don't know when your friend will appear in court because he had a couple other charges also, so I don't know. And it's also a weekend, so my guess he'll probably go first thing in the morning, or he might be later on on the docket, and he'll go later that afternoon, or they'll get to him sometime this week. So I would anticipate that if the judge plans on releasing your vehicle to you, which, since it was just an OWI and it wasn't wrecked or anything like that, and there was no... I already got photographs of what was inside that your friend left in there. And I've already collected all that stuff. Don't take my word for it, but the judge will probably release it to you this week. Okay. At which point, like I said, you'll be served a letter from 
the courthouse from a sheriff's deputy that says that the judge has released the vehicle in blah 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 case against so and so and you can go now pick up the vehicle and go get the location of the impound that so. Oh, okay, thank you. If you have any questions about the vehicle prior to there, on that envelope, inside of that envelope that I just gave you is a letter that's got all this information on it, but it's got the courthouse information on it, too. And you can yeah, I see it at the bottom there. So, if you have any questions prior, or you don't get your vehicle back this week, you can call and speak to the clerk about the case and see about your vehicle. Okay. Thank you, sir. Do you have any questions for me? I do not after that. All right. You are good to go. Drive safely. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Johnson. Okay. Oh, what a what a fucking nut job. Uh, I was gonna I was stopping him for his speed, but at that point, I mean, I I think you already had enough violent traffic violations piled up against him. So, all right. Take it easy. You too. The trail's still going to be out with that vehicle at 3016 to make contact. Bossman. Oh shit, nope. whoa. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? How are you? Avon, what's going on? My name is Lieutenant Victor. I work for the Sheriff's Office here in St. Tammany Parish County. We had an one call about this vehicle dumping trash all over the roadway. As you were going. Oh shit, did I leave the thing open? You have a leak somewhere? Did you leave the gate open? Oh, motherfucker, I left it open. Okay. On oh, my first day on the job. Okay. You don't have a trainer or anything with you? Or one of these trucks have two, three people on them? Hold on. No. They just okay. said, they said, go clean up the trash. That's it. They didn't give you a route or anything? No, they just said clean up trash in Sandy. Okay. You have a driver's license on you? Uh, it's in the truck. Alright, go ahead and grab that for me. You don't have any drug alcohol weapons, do you? Oh, I'm on work. Okay. There might be in the some in the back, but it's trash. Well, there shouldn't be weapons back there. Or I drugs. I don't know, I just... I don't know. There you go. Alright, let me go run that really quickly if everything comes back good, then I'll get you out of here, okay? Okay. Do you know, uh, what about the stop signs? You know what those are? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna be back to that. Hey, he says he took like eight or nine stop signs off the fucking road because he thought they were trash. He just picked them up out of the sand. Yep, 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 yep. Well, you also can't crush, well, I guess you could crush metal, but that's not going to go over well for the trash truck. Yeah. Bravo 9, show me 10 7. Remington. How many did, of these did you take? 
I don't know. You can look us on. Do you remember where he picked them up from? Uh, the panoramas and the cat claws. So you picked up four of them? Three of them? Yeah. And then I grabbed one down by the uh, by the 2048, the Sea View. Okay. And why did you pick up a stop sign? Well, my boss said that whenever you get to a stop sign, you're supposed to stop. Yes, that's what and, it says my, to do. Yeah, but I overheard one of the colleagues telling me one of the 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 one of my trainers said that you're supposed to pick them up. And how how do you just pick up a stop sign out of the ground by hand? Oh, I have a shovel in there. And oh. you, you just you just dug the stop sign out of the ground. Yeah, you said it's supposed to pick them up. I guess they're trash. Okay. And and you were told that it was trash. I don't know. I just heard him say it. So they weren't actually talking to you. I you don't know. Said... It's my first day. What do you mean? You don't, you don't know who was talking to you? Well, he was talking to me. And then he turned away and said... Does he know you're supposed to pick them up? So, I guess he's referencing the stop signs. I think he was referencing the trash. But I don't know. I went there. Um, you're 64 years old, and you, you, you've you been driving for 23 years, and actually longer than that. You've been driving for no, 50-some years. I just got my driver's license. I didn't have a, I didn't know what a driver's license was. I just went to the DMV a couple of days ago. You did. You can see. I think I have a citation for it. Someone gave me a citation. Yeah, and you also have an OWI. So I don't know how. What fuck is that? Operating while intoxicated. So I don't know how you still have a driver's license, but. Well, I had to go to court. You literally got arrested for it yesterday at 3.30 in the morning. You already went to court? No, I have to go to court. Yeah, it's a must appear. I have to go to court. So, how are you... What I want to know is how at 3.27 a.m. you were issued a citation for driving with an unregistered vehicle with no license. The vehicle had a public plate on it that was blank and then nine minutes later you get arrested for driving while intoxicated and then magically you have a driver's license I don't understand it wasn't even ten minutes later you got arrested for OWI well the officer gave me the citation and then he pulled me out of the vehicle because he was going to well, this is on the same stop. He just put them in differently, if you know what I mean. So, mm -hmm. he pulled me out of the vehicle, because he was going to tow the vehicle, because I didn't have a driver's license. Mm -hmm. And then when he pull, pulled out of the vehicle, he smelled alcohol. And he already gave me the citation. So, when he pulled me out of the vehicle, he did the... the, the, the test field sobriety thingy. Mm -hmm. And gave me a... Uh, 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 a little hose to suck on or blow on and he then determined I was drinking too much to drive so he gave me OWI after the fact on the same stop uh huh okay still so, so after you were arrested for OWI you then went to the DMV you got a driver's license that makes zero sense, because when the DMV runs your name through the system, they have a similar system to us, and they can see your criminal record only for driving offenses to see oh, does, if... It, does my driver's license say valid? It does. Oh, it's not supposed to say that. So I'm com that's what I'm confused about. Yeah, it's supposed to say suspended. I don't know why it says valid. So your driving is suspended driver's license. Is what you're talking well, about. Well, well, that's what it's supposed to say. 
so that's what do you want to go off of what the system shows or what off of what you're telling me uh well you guys gonna have you got because at this point if you want to set anything i would have went off of what the system shows i can't arrest somebody for saying oh yeah i have a suspended license but then they don't well tough shit for you i don't like arresting people well, you can't arrest me. I didn't do anything. I wouldn't. If you had a suspended license, I'd arrest you. Well, the system must be need to be updated then. Yeah, it must. Well, the DMV hasn't got to it yet. That is a Sunday. Yeah, so I don't know how you went to the DMV. Well, I didn't go to the DMV. It shouldn't say valid. Okay. You just said you went to the DMV. Earlier, you said you went. Well, yeah, I was lying to you. So you're obstructing. I ain't obstructed shit. You're obstructing my investigation upon which you were called in for taking and dumping trash all over the street. You're obstructing my investigation upon which stop signs were dug out of the ground by you, which is theft of city and government property and county property. You're obstructing my investigation upon which I'm talking to you about your driver's license and an OWI, and you just admitted to lying to me. Upon which... All three of those investigations are tied into this one big investigation. So that is obstruction. You're obstructing this entire thing by just lying. You lied about one part, that's still obstruction. Okay. So I could arrest you now. Okay. Do you, do you want to be arrested again? I'm not, I'm not answering that question. Okay. What I need you to do is figure out how many stop signs you took. I don't even know how they're standing upright like that. Or why you thought that it would be a good idea to even attempt to crush pure metal. What do you mean crush? With, with it, metal. That, that's or in what, the back. A garbage truck crushes stuff. That, that's what they're supposed to do. Oh, I it's don't a, know. They said they store it back there. That's what they told me in the little class. What company do you work for? Uh, hold on. I need to make sure. Uh, I work for Little Pricks Towing Company. Towing? Little Pricks is not a tow company. Golfers Company. Sorry. Do you have everything mixed up here? I, I don't know. Do you have a phone number for a boss that I could speak to? Because I'm not even so sure. Because your record shows that you're unemployed. Well, I don't even have a phone. Okay. So, how do you how do you contact these people? You're telling me you drove all the way from the location in Los Santos, which is the only location for little pricks. You drove all the way from there to come up here to collect trash. When you have an entire city full of trash you can collect on there. Well, I didn't get it from the trash service. It was sitting in the junkyard. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to represent you at free cost by the state of Louisiana. Do you understand these rights as I've explained them to you? What? What the hell did you just say? You have the right to remain silent. Anything okay. you do or say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you Hurry cannot up, afford one, one will be appointed to represent you at free cost by the state of Louisiana. Oh, free? Yeah, hell yeah. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, hell yeah. I want, I want some free cost. Have these rights in mind. Do you wish to speak to me now without an attorney present further? Sure, what do you want? Are you actually a garbage collector? Damn it! Uh, well, I walk I walk around the junkyard, so I guess you could say I'm a garbage collector. But you're not employed by Little Pricks. You piece of scum! What? Correct. I'm, not, I'm employed? What? No, you don't work for them, do you? Fuck! Oh, I don't know. The truck was just sitting at the junkyard dropping off some stuff, and then I guess it was... Well, anything to the junkyard's free game, so I took it. Put the stop sign down. Oh, okay, hold on, let me put it back. Go and turn around for me. 
Oh, what the? What is this? Oh. There we go. Right, right now you're being what? placed under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Through Charles what 15, the? I've got one. Grand Theft Auto? Auto? That's, what my, what's the, that's what my nephew plays. Yeah, well, that's what you're being charged with. For what? That was in the junkyard. You just admitted that they were unloading trash into the junkyard from this truck upon which you took it. That is Grand Theft Auto. You did not have permission to take it. You're also being charged with obstruction because you've lied about this entire thing. You got anything in a garbage truck, man? Garbage? Is that it? And maybe some stop signs. Is that it? Hold on one second. Oh, uh, I don't know. Something in the front seat you might need to look at. Like what? I don't know. You'll find out. No, what is it? Oh, that's my pocket knife right there. Hey, you got the keys? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me see. Watch your head. I'm just gonna retrust you, buckle your seatbelt if you could to shuffle over here for me. Yep, I'm on, working on it. Thank you, sir. This is your last chance to tell us what's inside that garbage truck. If you find anything in there illegal, you're being charged with it. If you tell us now, then we can determine if it's illegal or not. Well, is closed cans of beer illegal? No. Okay, well, yep, I have a six pack of, uh, Bud Light in the passenger seat, but they're unopened. Okay. Are you aware that you're supposed to keep that stuff out of sight, out of reach? I'm not too, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't open them. But you're supposed to keep them out of sight and out of reach, so you're not tempted to. Oh, trust me, I'm tempted, but... I don't know what to tell you. So where, where else am I supposed to put them? Well, considering it's not your vehicle, you weren't supposed to have it to begin with, so. What is it, your keys? Yeah, it should be on the No. Yo. This is oh. Lieutenant Victor with the St. Tammany Paris Sheriff's Office. I need a tow truck down here at 3016 for a garbage truck. Need a big one, all right. Done here at 3016. Yep, 3016. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you. All Some sort of paperwork in there. I got toe on the way. Alright, awesome. You good then? Yep, I'm just gonna wait for toe. Alright, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and clear off.
fuck going on here? He stole it. <laughs> oh man, I'm From with this bag. Up. Wow. I'm gonna just bag up um to it. I'm gonna get the paperwork in a few. Alright, I got a tow sheet here for you filled out for your copy. I'll just need a signature whenever you get a chance. Alright. Be out of my Uh, careful when you're transporting this there's he stole like three or four stop signs from the street he dug ah. them up and he tried to put them in there and crushing them so right. work right all right if you just want to sign at the bottom of this I'll give you a copy of it it's just showing that you picked it up Copy for me, my hey, my mm -hmm. boss man. I'll sign it right there. Appreciate it, boss man. Yep. Um, if you don't, hey, can you um, I might need you to follow me to the um, follow me to the um, the shop with this lot wide load. I don't wanna mess with mess over nobody. I'll get another unit done here because I got this guy in custody, so. 
Oh, you got somebody with you? Yeah. Don't worry about it. I can get one of my guys to come ask for Okay, I mean, I can have another officer if you want me to. I just have this guy in custody in my car, so I can't. Oh, no, you good, boss, man. Take, go ahead. I can get right. one of my guys. Alrighty, appreciate it. Charles 15, I will be transporting one adult male to 19, 10, 15. Crossing on Buckle yet? Huh? Your head. All right, so you're gonna be charged with Prince of Auto and possession of stolen property for the signs and for the garbage truck. All right. I'm not charging you with digging them up or anything. I, I just vandalism of government property. You dug them up, tried crushing them, but I'm not gonna charge you with it. So you're just going to be going for 25 with $1,900 fine. Aw, oh, damn. And three you'll have to appear in court for this also. Three zero three seven. appear in court for a lot of things. Yeah, I figured. Well, I'm you already have two, two things you got to appear in court for. You might as well add three. Right, you have any questions for me? Oh, sir. Thank you for your professionalism. Yep. And go ahead and get you sent off now. They'll have all the information there. Um, once you get there, you'll have to sit for a little bit to the booking process, but then they should give you a bail. Um, if you can post that, then you can get out. If not, then you'll just have to sit till your court date, which I'd imagine probably be tomorrow for all three of your cases. Okay, sounds yeah. good. 